it is hypothesized that at some point computers will get so fast or will be able to simulate something on a par with human intelligence. At that point, they will not stop getting more intelligent. Do I think that it's any question of time before human beings build conscious machines? Uh, I would say the answer is yes. By 2045, according to my calculations, we will multiply the intelligence of our human machine civilization a billion fold. This is going to lead to greater than human intelligence in a machine. That's such a profound change that we borrow this metaphor from physics and call it a singularity. Computers have been around for 60 years, and in that time, they've almost caught up with 200,000 years of human brain evolution. Pretty soon, they could be smarter than us. Ray Kurzweil thinks this will happen in our lifetimes, around 2045. Well, I'm Ray Kurzweil. I'm an inventor, futurist, and author. The first concept that's important to understand is the exponential growth of information technology. This computer is a billion times more powerful per dollar than the computer I use as a student. It's 100,000 times smaller. We'll do that again in the next 25 years. Uh, this will be the size of a blood cell. It will again be a billion times more powerful per dollar. Uh, than it is today. The design of the human brain is not simple, but it's not infinitely complex either. And it's a level of complexity we can master. And in fact, we're making exponential gains on understanding it. This decade, the, the 2010s, will be the, the decade of massive research on artificial brains. The physics of computation is such that, that future technologies can totally, utterly outperform, outclass what the human brain can do. For those who believe in the singularity, this isn't the distant future, it's already happening. In 1997, world chess champion Garry Kasparov was beaten by Deep Blue, a computer from IBM. And earlier this year, a machine called Watson competed against two human champions in the legendary game show Jeopardy and won. That was a wake-up call for a lot, of, a lot of Americans. When a computer beat the world champions, it, it, it really shook people. But as artificial intelligence becomes less artificial, as machines get smarter, what will this mean for the human race? Who or what should be dominant species? Should it, should it remain human beings? So I see a lot of people will, will absolutely reject the idea that humans should become number two. I don't think it's going to be an us-them phenomena with, uh, OK, humans on the left side of the room, computers on the right, and. Uh, let's get along with each other. It's going to be all mixed up. We're all going to be enhanced by these technologies as we already are. I think we are already information. And right now we have no way of capturing that and backing it up. We think that's really weird, but we think nothing of backing up the information on, on, on this device. In fact, you feel pretty uncomfortable to not back it up. Yeah, we walk around without backing up our mind file. For some, the idea of machine intelligence merging with humanity could solve all our problems. We will make ourselves smarter by putting billions of these, which will be the size of blood cells, in our bodies. They'll keep us healthy from inside. They will go inside our brains, interact with our biological neurons, put our brains on the internet, on the cloud of computing. It's still not a guarantee of immortality, but it's a, it's a tipping point. Others in the movement think it could bring on a calamity greater than we've ever imagined. A war between man and cyborg, man and machine, or perhaps even cyborg and machine. Obviously, humanity, traditional humanity, you know, humanness will get lost. That prospect is going to threaten a large number of people. I might seem a cheery, happy sort of, optimistic sort of guy by personality, but... Uh, what I'm predicting will happen is, in fact, the very opposite. I'm predicting a major war in the second half of this century over this issue of species dominance. We're talking about the survival, not of a country, we're talking about the survival of the species. If there's a major war, an intellect war, your kids will die. Immortality, cyborgs, the end of our species. If your brain is struggling to take it all in, don't worry. You just haven't upgraded yet. And though it might sound like science fiction, it's starting to be taken very seriously. This year, The Singularity has made the cover of Time magazine and a feature documentary has been released in the US. You have uh, people like Larry Page, CEO of Google, taking an interest in this stuff. Um, 
you know, you, you're starting to have prominent public figures willing to associate their names with the singularity. It's definitely moved, you know, from the fringes, if not into the mainstream, um, you know, and a lot closer. Still, many refuse to accept the central principle of the singularity, that a machine could ever replicate something so innately human as actual consciousness. They may be right. Either way, it won't be a long wait to find out. 